story and character development have always been hallmarks of LucasArts. It's one of the things that we really have been focused on since the inception of the company. When we first started working on what would ultimately become The Force Unleashed, we wanted to be a continuation of the Star Wars saga. We wanted to be a new chapter in the Star Wars saga. And I felt very strongly that this time period between episodes three and four was very fertile. You've got the Emperor putting all of his plots in motion. Do what must be done. We've got Vader hunting down the last of the Jedi. We've got questions like, what are Princess Leia and Bail Organa doing during this time period? We got the Death Star being built. So all of those things kind of came together in, in our minds as we started working on the story. I think we all kind of recognized at some point that Vader has to be kind of the central focus of the story because you know George made Vader the central focus of the entire saga. We kind of wanted to open the game with a bang and, and really wanted to get people's attention and we allow you to start the beginning of the game as Vader. So the first thing that happens when the player picks up the control is Darth Vader arriving on Kashyyyk because he knows that there is a Jedi that the Wookiees are hiding. The Jedi, of course, puts up quite a fight and is really one of the first unleashed opponents that you face in the game. Vader senses something's a little bit off. He senses that there's somebody more powerful nearby. And so Vader just picks up his saber and he just goes to make the final blow. And then suddenly the, the saber gets pulled out of Darth Vader's hand, which we've never seen happen before. And Vader, of course, whips around. He looks down and he sees this little boy. When that happens and you realize it's just this kid, uh, that's very powerful. Obviously, this child, who's, the force is really, really strong with them. It stops you. You're like, what is going to happen? In that moment, he realizes, Vader realizes that I can use this boy. He's really powerful. Come with me. So we transition to the future many, many years. Um, and this boy has now become Darth Vader's secret apprentice. Rise, my apprentice. And he's kind of doing these tests or trials for Vader. He's hunting Jedi and, and trying to prove himself to Vader. What is your will, my master? And so you playing Darth Vader's secret apprentice, that's where the, the story really takes off. The first mission that you undertake as Darth Vader's secret apprentice is to hunt down one of the last of the Jedi. He gets sent to a TIE fighter construction facility that's been taken over by a general named General Rom Koda. Vader tells him, the Emperor can't ever know about you, so you need to kill everyone aboard. Kill Koda's men, but if you run into a stormtrooper, you kill them as well. And that's because you're Darth Vader's secret apprentice, and he really wants to drive that home. <laughs> Bronx, you give me the time. The crew aboard the Rogue Shadow is very reminiscent to uh, the original Star Wars, A New Hope, where you had Luke and Leia and Han and Chewie and R2 and 3PO, and they were all aboard this Millennium Falcon. Well, in a similar way, the Rogue Shadow is kind of the, the dark side Sith version of that. But of course, that dark side energy isn't sustainable, that eventually this family sort of bonds together and there's a kinship that happens there. Am I going to see you again? Probably not, no. Obviously, this time period also includes the birth of the Rebellion, this ragtag group of freedom fighters that will ultimately oppose the Emperor and Darth Vader in Episode Four. This scene is such an important part of the Star Wars canon. This is the start of the whole alliance, the whole changing of the guard, the whole, the whole shifting in rebellion. We have a really well-rounded story, and, and you know, it's not, it's not very predictable at times. There's a lot of surprises. You may think you're going down one way, and you'll find yourself in another. And I think the character development and the choices that you make in the dark and light side will come across, not only through the story, but the actions that you may take. 
everything we want to do is to, to kind of further the lore of Star Wars and to really make this a part of the saga. I think the story gives you new understanding about characters like Darth Vader and the Emperor and new insight into the time period between episode three and four as well. You can't wait to find out what's gonna happen next.